Best Mic Soundcheck. What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to continue our discussion about managing our views. Alright, so in my previous video, we have discussed the basics of views. Alright, so what are the parameters? What are the options that you can use to modify your view? So if you still remember, just a recap, I have discussed there how to duplicate your views, how to create a match line, how are we going to use our properties. Uh, we also use some of the tools from our view control bar. And then we created uh, duplicate view, detailing, and uh, what else? Um, duplicate as a dependent. And on our last exercise, from our previous video, we did create a view template and then we also used a filter. All right, so we will be reviewing that in this exercise. All right, so for this exercise, we are going to learn how to further control the visibility of our elements in a view. All right, so for this exercise, as you can see, uh, we have three services highlighted here. So we have the color blue, we have the color uh, magenta, and then we also have our uh, color green here. So our color green, the system of that, if you're going to take a look at the properties, that is our exhaust system. So our color blue, that is our supply system. And then for our magenta, that will be our uh, return system. All right, so for this exercise, our goal here is we are going to de-emphasize the HVAC return and HVAC exhaust while emphasizing our HVAC supply system. All right, so that is what we are going to do. Okay, so to get started, so as you can see here, so we are on the level 2 MEP all. So what we are going to do here is uh, we are going to turn off the visibility of our lighting fixtures. Okay, because as you can see in this view, we have our uh, lighting fixtures. Or do we have? Uh, we don't have the lighting fixtures here, but we are going to open up the lighting fixtures. So going to our visibility graphic overrides, to go to this window, all you have to, be, uh, to do is to type VV, or you can go to the properties, and then you can select here the visibility graphic override. So you just need to click that one. So what we are going to do is uh, we are going to check our lighting fixtures. So I want the lighting fixtures. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and check that because currently it's turned off. Now, the reason why we turn on our lighting fixtures, all right, so there you go. So there's our lighting fixtures. The reason why we turn on our lighting fixture is that we call this view as level 2 MEP all, all right? So we want to show the services, okay, including the lighting fixtures, okay? So that's the name of our view. So that's why we need to show our lighting fixture, all right? So what we are going to do next is after turning on our lighting fixture is uh, we are going to duplicate our level 2 MEP all, all right? So let's duplicate this one. If you still remember last video all you have to do is to right click this uh, duplicate and then you can select here duplicate with detailing we want to include the details the tags okay so I'm gonna go ahead and select that and then we are going to rename this one okay so let's call this uh, level 2 MEP uh, supply so level 2 MEP supply enter all right okay so since we named this uh mep uh, level 2 mep supply so we want to highlight here our supply so that is what we are going to do so we want to highlight the supply we want to emphasize this and we want to de-emphasize our exhaust and the return system so how are we going to set that up so to start with so what we are going to do since we just want to show here the supply, so we want to turn off the lighting fixtures, right? So I'm going to open the visibility graphic overrides, so that's our VV. 
And then let's look again for the lighting fixtures. Let's uncheck this one. All right, so let's uncheck that one. And then after that, um, we are going to turn off our annotation in this view. So instead of unchecking this one by one, so you can just select this one, just uncheck this. Show annotation categories in this view. So currently it is checked. So we are going to uncheck that so that it will hide all the annotation in this view. Okay, all the tags, dimensions, elevation symbol, section symbol. Okay, so all things that has something to do with annotation. All right, so let us now uh, select OK. Let's check this out. All right, so no more annotation here. Okay, and also the lighting fixtures are already hidden in this view. Okay, and next, uh, going back to our uh, visibility graphic override to further set this up. So I'm going to go ahead and open it again. This time, I'm going to select here the filters tab. So on our filters tab, there is already a created filter here. Okay, so since... This is um, level 2 MEP supply. So what we are going to do is, of course, we are going to make our uh, supply um, highlighted and our return and uh, exhaust will going to be um, de-emphasized. Okay, so we are not going to turn off the visibility of return and exhaust, but to de-emphasize it, all you have to do is to select your half tone. Okay, so you just need to check half tone there. So we half tone return and we half tone also the exhaust. Okay, and then after that, you just need to select your OK and then just select OK. And there you go. So as you will notice, the colors of your uh, exhaust and return system is now half tone. Okay, so it's now highlighting our um, supply, the color blue, which is our goal. Okay, so this is our goal. So what we're going to do after we set up successfully our level 2 MEP supply, so from this view, we are going to use this to create a template. So if you still remember last video, we create a view template. So that is what we're going to do next. So after setting up, our view that's the standard you set up first your view okay and then after you create the view template all right so to create the view template using the settings of this view not the 3d model or not the model elements but the setting of the view we are going to create view template so to do that you just need to right click the level 2 MEP supply or the view that you want to use to create your view template just right click that and then you just need to select create view template from view all right so you just need to select that one and then you just put a name here so let's say for example the name is MEP supply and there you go so we now have our view template for MEP supply so if we are going to check the model elements here the overrides model so you will notice that the lighting fixture here is unchecked if you go to annotation it's already unchecked. If you go to filter, return and exhaust is already returned. Ah, I'm sorry. It's already half tone. Sorry about that. Okay, so there you go. So that's our template. So the reason why we create this template is that, let's say, for example, we also want to have this setting apply to our level 1 MEP supply. All right, so that is what we are going to do next. So that's the next part of the exercise. We already got our goal. So let's say, for example, we also want to create a level 1 MEP supply with the same setting. All right, so first of all, you need to duplicate this first, right? Just duplicate. All right, so you can select here duplicate or duplicate with, detailings, uh, with detailing. It's up to you. So let's say I'll just select duplicate. And then let's name it. Right click rename and i can select here all copy one and replace it with supply supply there you go all right so there's our supply so what we are going to do next here is what are you going to do so you just need to apply the view template 
All right, so you don't need to go to your visibility graphic overrides to turn off the lighting fixture, to turn off the annotation, or to make the return and exhaust half tone. You don't need to do that again. Why? Because you already created the template, the template for the MEP supply. All right. Okay, so all you have to do is to just simply right click this and then you can apply the template. Okay, so you can apply the template here. Just select that one. And then you look for MEP supply. Okay, so what you are going to do is you are just applying the view uh, the view properties from the view template MEP supply. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and select that and then I select here. Okay, actually you can select first uh, apply properties and then okay, but you can just go straight to the okay here. Just select that one and boom, there you go. You see, so it's now highlighting our supply. Okay, so what I'm trying to say here is using your view template, it will really save you a lot of time setting up your view again and again. So just imagine you have several views here like level two uh, like level three until level 20 so if you want those views to be seen as this view setting up this view are you going to do one by one like for example select one view and then set up the view template oh i mean the visibility graphic overrides and then the filters no need for you to do that because you already have the filter so all you have to do is to apply it so it's like you can select all your views like this you click one and then hold the shift and then click then after that you can apply a view template for that okay very simple it will save you tons of time okay and another thing that I want you to understand is if I'm going to check the property of level 1 MEP supply the view property of that notice that there is no view template apply here okay so like what I have said earlier we didn't actually apply the view template, but what we have applied is the view properties from the view template that we created. Only the view properties from the view template. So same with your level 2. You will notice that if I double click that one. So notice that there is no view template apply here. Okay, so this is the difference if you are going to apply a view template, not just the view properties of a view template, but a view template itself so this is what will happen so for this one let's say I just want to apply here the view template so you just need to click the view template here and then you can select here the MEP supply that one right and then you just select here okay okay of course nothing will happen because the setup of the view properties is the same as the view template MEP supply but the difference is that if you are going to change suddenly the scale for example, you realize, oh, I don't want 1 is to 32. Okay, it's so funny scale. So let's say I want to make it 1 is to 50. All right, so if you're going to click that, notice that this will now become disabled, right? Let's say, for example, you want to change the detail level. Then you click the detail level. Notice that it's also disabled. So let's say you want to change here the... Uh, visual style you click that again it's disabled and if you're going to take a look here at the properties all of the tools or the parameters here that you need to uh, modify for your view properties are disabled why if ever you encounter that it's because there is a view template that is applied to this view okay so it's different from the other view wherein you only apply the view properties this one you only select this one so if you select apply template properties it will only apply the properties of the view template okay you can change it manually here right you can still modify from here it is not locked with the view template okay now if you apply a view template this is what will gonna happen so if I open the visibility graphic overrides notice that it's also disabled okay so don't be sur uh, surprised if ever you encounter this one you see it's disabled okay because sometimes uh, there's there are some starters in Revit or just recently used Revit encounter this 
they noticed that hey why is it i can't use the visibility graphic overrides like i can't change the visibility i can't change the scale at all okay i can't i can't modify the properties well the the reason is that there is a view template okay this is very important because the reason why we are using view template is to standardize our project okay now if you really want to modify your view like for example for this one you want to change that from 1 is to 32 to 1 is to 50 you need to go directly to the view template you just need to click that okay you go inside the view template which is this one and then from here you change okay but take note if your MEP supply view template is also applied in other view like for example it's also applied to level 3 to your level 4 to your level 5 until 20 if you modify your MEP supply here not only this view will change to 1 is to 50 for example but all the views where you have applied the view template MEP supply will going to be updated as well okay so just be careful of modifying your view template so I think best practice for that if this is the only view that you want to change to 1 is to 50 using this MEP supply template so what you can do is you just duplicate this one okay just duplicate there's an option here duplicate and then you can call this like for example MEP supply uh, let's say underscore 1 1 to 50 all right so 1 is to 50 something like that all right there you go and then that's the time you can now change the scale here okay so I can change that to 50 and then I can select your apply and then I can select your okay so that all the views having this MEP supply view template is not touched okay only this view okay so there you go just duplicate apply and then okay and then as you can see it's already 1 is to 50 so you can now change this so it's now already changed to 1 is to 50 okay so view template is very important to standardize your view okay all right so that's it for our topic on how to control the visibility of your your project All right so hopefully you learned something from this video guys if you have any comments questions or suggestions you can put it on the comment section below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can all right so thank you for watching guys you all stay beautiful and handsome have a nice day